What's up, capas, and welcome back to Spider-Man in the Cosplay Therapy Verse. So right now, I think we have a new one, and it's the Genie Lamp from Aladdin. What is this thing, Peter? I'm not really sure, probably some kind of ancient lamp or something. But I use it as a teapot. <laughs> it was given to me by the director of a museum. Do you think this is the real lamp? That museum which was robbed by Mysterio when he tried to frame Spider-Man, like always. I was doing a photograph there for JJ after Mysterio was captured. The director of the museum said he felt guilty for his wrong accusations against Spider-Man. Man, and that he wanted to apologize. Why did he give it to you though? You're Peter Parker, not Spider-Man. I guess you have connections to Spider-Man. And since the director, like many people, thought that I'm a personal photographer of Spider-Man, he asked me to give this lamp to Spidey as a souvenir, as an apology. I just love how the game answers to my questions all the time. <laughs> as you might guess, I met Spider-Man pretty soon. Uh huh. Interesting. But this lamp, it is worth something? Honestly, I highly doubt it. It is unlikely that the director of this museum will part with a really valuable exhibit to apologize to the guy in the red and blue tights. Genie, please grant me three wishes. You think it's a trinket? Most likely, yes. Even gilding looks cheap and fake. Here, take a look. Oh, mysterious music. You reach your hand to the lamp to give it to Mary Jane so she could look closer. However, as soon as you touch the lamp, you feel the symbiote begin to react. What's happening? I don't know. As soon as I touch the lamp, the suit has been activated. But why? I wish I knew. Certainly, you feel the suit is moving and changing both your and Mary Jane's appearance by its own will. Oh, it's a leap up What is happening? What is this reference to? Is Mary Jane Jasmine? Wow, Mary Jane, are you okay? What's up with Mary Jane's costume? No way. I think so, but what happened? I'm not sure. Looks like the symbiote reacted when I touched the lamp. I think he might have uh, some prick. You mean he didn't do anything? I've been here all the time. No, he was controlled by itself. I have no idea why it started acting like this. Uh, he took off my clothes and dressed me like some Persian court son. What did he do to you? Venom. How dare you? And I look like some monk or something. Why did he dress us? like that. I just love how he gave less clothes to Jasmine and gave more clothes to Peter Parker. I have no idea, but I can assume it's a teapot. Apparently, this is not a trinket after all. What do you mean? This symbiote is from outer space and God knows from what planet it came from. I don't really know much about it. Maybe it's even from another galaxy. This particular one attached to me when I was searching you in the interdimensional area. Who knows? Maybe it could have visited some other time periods of our civilization where this lamp was created or in some some other worlds altogether. Perhaps the lamp had something to do with where the symbiote came from. I highly doubt it. That sounds creepy. Hmm. I think I'd better not touch this lamp. I'll need to study it later to find out the possible connection between it and the symbiote. Where do you get all this stuff? I mean, okay, I, I know where. Probably you're right. Well, anyway, we still have some time tonight, so you can continue the therapy session. Please, no more dancing. I mean, you can dance like that, I don't mind. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, I've prepared the photo album as well. I'll go break it here and put it on the table. We better take a look at this, not the weird teapot. Okay, let's see. Oh, so let's not touch the teapot. What if I touch the teapot again? We better not touch it. Yeah, that was pretty frightening when your alien thing dress up us on its own will. You know, I can still feel that the suit remembers those weird appearances it gave us when I touched the lamp for the first time. It was just two minutes ago. Want to look at it? again? Isn't it dangerous? I guess not as long as I do not touch that teapot. I hope you're right. It looks very unusual. I'd like to know who wore these clothes and where your suit saw them. Perhaps in time it will tell me about it. It can do so? Oh yeah. The previous symbiote told Eddie Brock about my secret identity and a lot of other things when he wore it. Maybe this one will share some information with me one day. Now I'm not sure if I want to know anything from it. Mm, well anyway, let's get to our therapy while we still have some time. Okay then, what's on your mind? So let's just go to where it says new. So this is a photo album. My photo album! There are a lot of various photos of our mutual friends inside. I think viewing them might refresh our memory a little. Maybe you will remember something or someone from your past life. Do you have some wrenchy photos? Probably not. Sounds like an interesting idea. Let's take a look. Oh, you show Mary Jane old photos you collected along the way telling her who is depicted on a particular picture or about what happened at the moment of creation of the photo. You have fun remembering the old days and different funny or 
ridiculous situations in which you both fell in the past. Oh, this is so romantic. Can you just skip all this? And then he falls and starts to stink terribly. Ha ha ha! Ew, gross! That was hilarious, yeah. You don't say. Um, it was very interesting, Peter. Thank you for showing me these photos and telling all this. All these people, I can't remember most of them at all. Believe me, I'd rather forget some of them as well. Haha, <laughs> looks like partial amnesia has its adventures. Yes, it does. Yeah, right. About that, by the way, huh? Today we are going to try a new practice using another appearance for you. Oh, interesting. Tell me more about it. Well, as you might have guessed, the look you're about to try on today belongs to a person we both knew in the past. And what appearance will you have? Oh, imagine it's Gwen Stacy or something. You're gonna dress like my ex-girlfriend. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> or aren't you going to dress up? For this particular exercise, I will need to look as usual. That's one of the main points. Okay then, so what's the exercise? And whose costume will it be for me tonight? You will see. Let me make it for you and then I'll tell you the details. Alright. Oh my god, it is Gwen Stacy, isn't it? Oh, um, this is one of the girls from your pictures. What was her name? F Felicia, right? Isn't Felicia Black Cat? Right, Felicia Hardy. That is Black Cat. Why are you dressing your girlfriend as your ex-girlfriend? <laughs> I mean, you'd be worse if she was uh, Gwen Stacy because she actually died. But daughter of Lydia Hardy, the owner of the Hardy Foundation. She studied with me at the same faculty. She's pretty healthy, huh? But why did you choose her? Does this have anything to do with today's exercise? Yes, speaking of which, I did some analysis of what we were able to get after the dancing exercise. This look and the new practice alone should have the right impact on the certain areas of your subconscious and give a very strong incentive to your mind to restore some of the lost memories. You're gonna get punched after she remembers who's this girl. I mean, I don't know if Mary Jane knows that she was your ex-girlfriend. Unfortunately, I can't give you all the details yet, so we'll just have to do what I say for now. Oh my god, you're digging yourself a huge hole, Peter. That sounds a bit fishy, don't you think? But well, okay, what shall I do this time? I must warn you, MJ, this exercise may seem a little uncomfortable for you. <laughs> it is for me, to be honest. But what I'm about to ask is also a necessary and very important part of today's therapy session. Please take this as a serious practice, not just some kind of nasty practice. I know where we're going and I don't like it. Peter, spill it out already. So today I have to ask you to unbutton your blouse in front of me so I could see your under- What are you doing? Peter, what? Why? I'm sorry, but I can't tell you everything now because otherwise his exercise will be much less effective. I have to ask you to trust me this time. That's a pretty daring request, you know. Yes, I know MJ, but still. <laughs> oh, fine, I'll do it, but very quickly. Ba -ba -ba. Sure, it won't take long. After some hesitation, oh, you put up some music again. Mary Jane with slightly trembling hands undid the buttons for a magenta waistcoat and took it off, leaving herself in a white blouse and a long orange skirt. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 MJ, whoa, you're going too far right now. Noticeably embarrassed, the girl unbuttoned her blouse and then, holding the fabric, spread her arm to the sides, revealing a view of the firm press <laughs> hidden beneath the tin bro. I'm getting very uncomfortable right now, but let's keep going. When she sees you looking at her, she looks away and a soft blush appears on her cheeks. I'm sure that next time she's just going to grab them, isn't she? Peter, I hope this exercise will really help me. No doubt, again, the less you know about it now, the better. It is really necessary to do this. Yes, it have to go this particular way, I assure you. I assure you it's like this, okay? Guys, this is vodka. No, it's not really vodka, it's just water. I just need to drink some water. <laughs> I need to be moist for this. <laughs> How long do I have to stay like this? As long as you can. Just a little bit more, MJ. What is this? Look closer. I can look closer. Can you not stare so hard, please? Sorry, but this is also a necessary part of the new practice. <laughs> no, it's not. It's just you like it, Peter. God, what kind of practice is this? Peter, you're embracing me too much by the way you look. Nice. <laughs> okay, okay. Is it done? Can we finish and scene? Poor Mary Jane. This is nonsense! Peter, explain me everything properly, please. Why do I have to flash my underwear like this? <laughs> Peter Parker smiled though. 
Yeah. I know you have a lot of questions right now, and I'm glad you did what I asked. <laughs> However, I have to leave you with no answers for now. We need to wait some time for the effect of today's session to show itself properly. I can see your pants, Peter. If I tell you everything right now, today's session will be for nothing. So when should I notice this effect? When are you going to tell me? Let's just wait for some time and talk about it on the next session. No need to rush yourself, MJ. Will I have to go through this again? I'm afraid yes, and in the case of dancing, this practice must be performed several times to get the noticeable results and consolidate them properly. <laughs> Peter! Oh! Everything will be fine, you just need to rest. Come, I'll walk you home. Alright! What are we doing with her? This evening, Mary Jane Hartley said a word on her way home. She must have had a hard time tonight. She didn't show me nothing at all. I mean, okay. But she knew she was my girlfriend before. You guess her head must be a mess right now. You walk her home without breaking the silence. Try not to make her feel even more uncomfortable. I need to give her a little time to process everything and put her thoughts in order. You think yourself. You said goodnight to MJ and we to your apartment okay guys we're gonna stay here for today's episode we saw a little bit more of mj that i think she was more than comfortable with but that's how the game is going i hope you guys enjoyed this series it gets more interesting as long as we go if you guys like it of course don't forget to press it with a thumbs up subscribe and 87 percent of you are not subscribed so just do it just do it check out the merch support me on patreon to see a censored version of most of my videos and we see each other on the next video of whatever i do so guys stay goody goody merry christmas <laughs> i don't know why and we see each other mm, later guys bye